All right, good morning. I'm out here at the Jansen Farms on the edge of Dresden, and uh, they're doing something kind of unique. And uh, I've got Ed and George with me here today. And what they're doing is growing early, I guess you'd call it early harvest sweet corn for the fresh market. And a, a lot of it they sell at the road, and they also sell it to, uh, you sell it to stores too, don't you, George? Yes. So I got Ed here and he's going to show us, explain how this machine works for laying plastic. Ed, take it away. Oh, this is just the whole built, homemade machine I uh, built there about 25 years ago. Anyway, it's just a very simple mulch layer. It's got a, a roller on it. And this is, a, we use a clear degradable degradable plastic so we don't have to pick it up anymore. Oh, so it breaks down it breaks yeah. down in the field. Up in yes, the field. That, oh, that saves a lot of work. Oh, that yeah. saves a lot of work. It's all biodegradable and it comes on a 9,000 foot uh, roll and anyway it's a little bit lighter than we used to run because we used to run a one mil plastic and then we had to pick it up every year in the fall which was a lot of work but this here is a uh, is actually a 0.5 mil and we just lay it down and we just disc it up in the fall and it biodegrades right the soil. Perfect. So with the plastic, how, how many days sooner do you think you get your corn? I would say about seven days. A week? Yeah, a good seven days. Depends on the year. Well, in the fresh market, like that first sweet corn, like it tastes good, doesn't it, George? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it makes a more uniform ear than if it's just direct planted. Oh. A, lot of, a lot of it comes up more mature, uniform ear. And it always seems to have enough moisture in it. There's not as much stress on that corn plant because uh, it, it gets all the nutrients and moisture keeps coming up after you get a dry part. So when you plant, you cut right through the plastic? Yes. Yes. And then it lay, it won't blow away? No, no. Usually we got it laid down and then hopefully we get a, a little shower after we get it laid and that water runs off the plastic and it settles that soil and then and then we're good for a wind. But if you get a wind before it rains, it can be a little dicey. Especially if it happens to be a crosswind. So you're going to go out and plant some then, Ed? Yes. We're just well, I'll come out to the field and uh, we'll see how that works. All right. What Ed's going to do is... Uh, head off and start planting and uh, it's uh, how many different varieties do you grow Ed? Oh, about four or five, five varieties, five with different heat units for maturity. So uh, how long will you have them for sale? Like uh, over two weeks or three weeks? Or? Well, we hope to have about almost close to six weeks. Oh six weeks? Six weeks, yeah. So you mostly retail it here or are you wholesale quite a bit? Oh, we just mostly for the stand. Oh, kids are busy in the summer. Oh, retail. Yeah, right the Something for the kids to do. That's right. A good learning experience too. That's right. Nope, so, uh, it's a modest planter, a modest uh, vacuum system. Oh, it's, it's a, a vacuum planter. It's a vacuum planter. So once I start it up, it gets pretty loud. Well, you want to head down the field, that'll be good. All right. This is the smallest vacuum planter I think I've ever seen.
I need to uh, get the cattle out and start cooking corn, George. <laughs> okay, there he goes right by the 1st of July. The 1st of July? Well, 1st of the week of July. But the long, it's usually maybe 7 to 10. Yeah. So uh, we're getting kind of an early start here. If we get the warm weather, it depends how warm it is here in the next couple of weeks. But he's getting a reasonably early start here for planting. If he does it much earlier, we've tried that before, and they come up and they'll freeze off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Corn yes. will freeze off. Oh, yeah. And then it's up and down, and your, your ears aren't all the same size, and it's kind of a mess. Then. you got to have it all kind of even so it all germinates at the same time. Well, you got to have yeah. quality. And quality, yeah. Everybody wants a nice full ear. A big ear. Oh, yeah. They want a big ear cheap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what's the temperature here? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. So that's fifty-six. Now he just put this down uh, this morning. Yesterday. Oh, it was down yesterday. Yeah, this was down yesterday. Yeah. So it should have warmed up a little bit. Yes. It froze last night. Yes. And then what is it where there's no... Uh... Yeah, I guess that one's harder to see. So we'll put this one in here. That's uh, metric stuff. Yeah. I don't know much about that metric. Do you, George? No. <laughs> see there, this one's down to 48, 47, 46. That's 10 degrees. 10 degrees. 11 degrees. Yep. And that plastic was just put down yesterday. Yeah, well, that makes uh, quite a difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's 12 degrees now. Well, there you go. <clears throat> In about uh, 10 days, you should be able to row this corn. I don't know about that. But if the sun shines, it picks up a lot of heat. Well, it's going to be warm this afternoon. But if you get a lot of cloudy and cold weather yeah. days, then it doesn't gain you that much on those days. But it's going to warm the ground up, and then when you do get a cold night, it won't get that cold under that plastic. No, that's true. So it'll help the corn germinate. Five fifty-six degrees. Yep. Well, it looks like there's about a twelve-degree difference by using the plastic, and that's on a pretty cool day today. Yeah. After it just fro froze last night, a little bit. Well, that's about it for the sweet corn. And uh, I want to thank everybody. Anybody that hasn't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And one thing we are going to have is uh, we're working on a, uh, a uh, web address that you can send your comments in. And uh, I hope to have that up maybe in the next couple of days. And when I do, I'll put that on the channel. And uh, we'll catch you again.